Yeah, so apparently you can't add um, custom CSS on these images because they're using this um, their own image control kind of thing. Um, but there is this, this edit with Picnic. And I used this website actually earlier this week on something else. Um, bad news is I think Google owns it and it's being closed down in May. So um, you can do similar effects with um, uh, Photoshop, certainly. Um, so what you can do, I think there's effects on here, like drop shadow or something like that. Um, maybe these are just image effects only. Oh, wait. Sandbox effects. These might just be... Um, for like image effects. Basic edits, crop OJ exposure. Yeah, okay, well, I guess there's the answer. Um, there might be something in here if, if you wanted to play inside of it, but it looks like it's probably not going to work. Wait, hold on, drop shadow. So that was under frames and then drop shadow. So it looks like you could kind of do that um, distance, you can kind of add a little bit more there on the bottom. So it looks just like the other one. I'm going to say apply. And I'm going to say save this constant contact. And then insert. I guess insert it the full size. So there it is. So, um, it looks like that might work. So uh, I guess give that a try and maybe see, see what you think there.